All right, another quick video. This one is going to be about the UCCNC post processor for Fusion 360 and how to edit it so that you can turn on both uh, M7 and M8. Uh, specifically, it's probably for setups like mine where you have two solenoids for your misting setup. And so in my case, M7 is the solenoid right here. That's for switching the coolant, which is coming from a pressurized tank slightly pressurized it's got a mix of like 70 alcohol 30 water uh, I'm using Everclear so it's okay if you inhale it and then M8 is the solenoid which controls the air assist and so before I would only be able to choose flood or mist in Fusion 360 uh, clearly it just wasn't configured for setups like this and so now the way my workflow works is when I go into a toolpath I have the option of either selecting air or mist. Um, and so the way you do this is very simple. You go into, assuming you're using the stock UCCNC post processor, you just open that up. It's gonna open up your default text editor. Let's make this a little easier to read. This is a VS code, by the way. I think this, used, I think this is Java. Um, anyways, you scroll down a little bit until you come across the coolants field and I've already edited this So this is how it looks like for me. They provide you examples right here But basically I've disabled flood I've enabled mist and this is how it looks like if you want to call up both m7 and m8 And then I've also enabled air which is just eight for m8 uh, Yeah, just uh, this is how I saved it and this is how it's been posting my code so let me actually show you how it posts now. So we're gonna post this. Yeah, sure, overwrite it. It posted successfully. And now um, there's no coolant in the first operation. And in the second operation right here, you can see it uh, gave us M7 and M8 for the missed option that I selected. So uh, yeah, uh, hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.